like it because I love this place so much. It had to be my last stop at a vintage shop on the top floor before I get on the plane. Who knew I'd be buying four vintage sunglasses in Estonia? Tallinn was my last stop in the Baltic states. Despite that, I was definitely ready to head back to Paris at this point. Tallinn was the perfect destination for a short solo travel trip. Let's make sure you start at the right place. Viru Gate is part of the ancient defense walls during the 14th century. When the entrance of the old town extended, some gates were taken down so the Viru Gate would connect the old market and Karyog Palace. Today, a line of flower shops leading up to the gate also showcases many restaurants, cafes, and more landmarks. Here is some of the busiest points of Tallinn, where numerous events and festivals take place. St. Catherine's Passage was previously referred to as Monk's Alley, since it used to cross the Dominican Monastery. Believed to have been built more than 700 years ago, this charming medieval passage is home to several local shops that sell handicrafts and souvenirs today. Tallinn Old Town is action-packed with travelers, locals, medieval buildings, live music, restaurants, bars, cafes, and more. As the oldest part of Tallinn, Old Town is symbolic of a city planned from the 13th century. During World War II, Tallinn experienced aerial bombings by the Soviet Air Force when the city was under German occupation. The most damage was done in 1944 when over a thousand bombs destroyed 10% of Old Town's buildings, then created fires that killed locals and left 20,000 people homeless. Reykjaja Platz is the town hall square situated in the middle of Tallinn Old Town. Markets, exhibition are also held occasionally. A Christmas tree has been celebrated here since 1441, marketing the Tallinn Christmas tree display more than 580 years old. In Tallinn Old Town, you'll stroll down Vurimehe Street, which means coachman. Today, it's one of the oldest and most charming alleys in the city where vinyl shops, chocolaterie, cafes reside. It's my first stop in Tallinn, Estonia. We are at one of my favorite things to do, which is at their market. Balti Yama Turk is one of the best places to shop in Tallinn as it includes 300 vendors over three floors that cover both the interior and exterior spaces. At the entrance, there are several supermarkets, large halls for vegetables, the famous Estonian rye bread, cured meats, organic and natural products, and lots of dining options. Of course, I got myself some pelmenis or delicious dumplings. Dumplings make me so happy. It's all I want when I'm here to eat these dumplings. After your meal, make sure to head upstairs to check out Estonian handicrafts, goods, textiles, even vintage shops. On the third floor of the market, there are handicrafts. I just bought gloves and a beanie knitted by 80-year-old grandmother because it's so cold here. In June, we are at like 40 degrees here in Tallinn. I mean, I didn't pack warm enough. And then on the third floor here, also, you've got vintage shops. Very, very cool. Where I'm gonna go broke. Here at the Teleskivi Creative Center, it's where a lot of young people are coming to have a drink at night instead of some of the cocktail bars that I've hit up in Old Town. Also here in this area, there's a lot of like tap rooms, distilleries, independent shops, cafes. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of street art. There's definitely like a very bohemian energy here. Gentrified, colorful, all that good stuff. I can't wait to check it out. Taliskivi Creative City is a newly artistic center near the Balti Yama Turk Market and at the former Baltic Railway Factory. 
The entire area, over 10 buildings, celebrates Tallinn's art world, which is displayed through art galleries, theaters, restaurants, and more than 30 shops. Many of which showcase the works of local artisans and small entrepreneurs. This is the Estonia History Museum. It is 12 euros to enter. There are multiple floors, and、uh, kind of goes through the history of this country. Today's Estonian History Museum is housed inside the Great Guild Hall, which is more than 600 years old, with an ancient theater and wine cellar. Since the 14th century, the Great Guild was for artisans and merchants to host events within the walls of classic medieval Estonian architecture. At the present-day museum, there's a permanent exhibition called "My Free Country," which explains 100 years of the Republic Estonia. History to art. So this is the Museum of Applied Art and Design. Estonia Museum of Applied Art and Design is made for art fanatics and takes place in a former granary built in 1683 to 1695. The museum displays works of Estonian textiles, ceramics, jewelries, and artworks from the 20th century to now. There are different levels that feature over 18,000 museum items from Estonian collections of applied art, design, and photography. This is the remaining first wall wrapping Tallinn, called the Margaret Wall, named after Margaret Sambiria, the Queen of Denmark, who commissioned the construction of the wall. This part of the wall is the reason why Tallinn Old Town became a World Heritage Site. Museums here are really big on the transparent glass on floor situation. <laughs> Seen it a few times in several museums, but this is one of the more significant, more comprehensive museums here in Tallinn. One of the most popular museums in Tallinn is the Estonia Maritime Museum, which illustrates Estonia's vibrant history of navigation and ships. Situated at the Seaplane Harbor, the museum contains 200 items that range from the Lembit submarine to the and shore to 184 seaplane. Visitors can also study the remains of the oldest ship discovered in Estonia. St. Olaf's Church was built during the 12th century and was the epicenter of Tallinn's Scandinavian community before Denmark occupied Tallinn in 1219. The name came from King Olaf II of Norway. At one point, this was the tallest building in the world. During Soviet occupation of Tallinn, the KGB used this church as a radio tower and point of surveillance. The chocolate brand in Estonia is Kalev, with its wide selection of flavors and textures. Make sure to stock up on marzipans, which are confections made from sugar, honey, and ground almonds. One of the largest museums in Tallinn is Kumu, which is also one of the biggest art museums in Northern Europe. Kumu stands for Kunsti Museum, meaning Museum of Art. The main exhibition features Estonian art from the 18th century, works from the occupation period from 1940 to 1991, socialist realism, and nonconformist art. I 
just finished the Kumu Museum. I can safely say that it is one of my favorite museums so far. It showcases different eras of Estonian art from Baltic German, National Romantic, Futuristic, influences from Soviet Union, Finnish cultural influences as well. So I highly recommend it. It was extremely comprehensive. You just gotta check it out when you're here in Tallinn. Next to Kumu Museum is Katriog Park, which dates back to 1718 when Peter the Great commissioned the redesign of Vanenthal Summer Manor. Some of the most beautiful parts of the park are the Swan Pond and the Japanese Garden. The entire park encompasses 70 hectares and makes a beautiful walk after a visit at the museum. Behind me is Itumpea Castle. It's uh, right next to the Alexander Nevetsky Cathedral. So you just kind of like do two things <laughs> within 15 minutes. Tompea Castle now houses the Parliament of Estonia. Throughout history, Tompea was altered according to the needs of various rulers and conquerors of the country. The Alexander Nevsky Cathedral is situated across the Tompea Castle. Built during the Russian Empire, the cathedral showcases the typical Russian Revival style from late 19th century. Since USSR was technically non-religious, most churches were left to decay. But after the end of Soviet occupation of Estonia in 1991, the church was restored. <music>